you can also find them in recombination as we, as I have showed you before okay now let's talk about another impor important structure uh, another uh, non-canonical structure of DNA which is called the DNA quadruplex structure so uh, what do we mean by quadruplex as the name suggests this is a structure where we are having uh, the four uh, interactions so four strands are interacting so it may not be the individual four strands but uh, it, it may be an extension of a strand which will bending us some way but we need four strands to to, to four uh, nucleotide base to be to donate to finally make a stru quadruplex structure of a DNA now as we know uh, to make this kind of quadruplex structure of a DNA we need more and more guanine nucleotides as the guanine nucleotides have a high capability to make Hoogstein base, base pairing in both the ways so guanine has a very very good capability to making lots more Hoogstein pairing rather than the adenine uh, from the spirin groups uh, so, so from the spurin groups uh, sorry so that's why to make this quadruplex structure the first thing the first thing we need is uh, the presence of large amount of guanine rich polynucleotide sequences in a particular stretch of DNA now second thing this polynucleotides can interact to form tetra uh, tetraplex structures they, they start to form tetraplex structures now as we know in the previous times when you talk about the triple triple helix then we, we, we consider these three strands together it is very very difficult but now we are involving four strands to make uh, make bonds or some bond like this so that will be much more difficult than the previous one because all the strand backbone are negatively charged so there will be a tendency for rep repelling those charges together so how can you cope up with that we need more and more ions like sodium and potassium to make this structure really really stabilized okay so a lot of this ion are very really needed to make a structure now here we can find uh, the structure so he, these are the guanine as we can see these all are the guanine structures so it's the stretches of guanine that we can find they will interact with each other a lot more hookstein pairing so if we consider this is a guanine it will make hookstein with this two if it, this is a guanine it will make a normal with this so, so these two guanine are making hookstein pairing and other two are pairing the normal bond of nature so it they, they are also the four of the guanine are making Hookstein base pairing with each other to make this kind of bond so as we can see lot of interactions are involving lot of repulsions are involving so this kind of structure are really really less favorable less uh, stereochemically st uh, stable but still we can find this kind of structure and more importantly we can find this kind of structure in a very important region of a eukaryotic DNA eukaryotic genome which are called the telomeres so the t inside at the end of this uh, our chromosomes which are called the telomere regions we can find lot of this quadruplex structure of DNA because uh, we in at that point we need to have a stabilization of DNA because most of the time after each round of replication as we know the telomere region is getting shortened uh, because of uh, the delay of the polymerase activity because polymerase do not have a, uh, have a framework uh, to, to attach and start uh, uh, adding the primer that's why so uh, normally uh, the cell uh, cope up with that uh, situation using the uh, telomerase enzyme but still in this case uh, we have lot of this uh, G proteins to make a cap at the end of the telomere which prevents the telomere to get damaged to be get it damaged and as we get uh, getting uh, aged this part of the DNA is getting hampered and it, it will lead to the consequence of the aging now as you can see in the structure what we can have we can have this normal structure of four strands which can make a bond which is not common in, in nature this is a uh, this is a mathematic representation not common but what we have the second structure this is uh, very very common because we have only one stretches of stretch of DNA from this five prime to this three prime so if we consider one single strand from here the five prime and to the three prime and we arrange this five prime to three prime arrangement in this such a way they can fold to to provide uh, 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 four guanine at the same plane so whatever we are doing whether we are having one strand uh, of guanine stretch polyguanine stretch or two strands of polyguanine what we can see in this picture uh, whatever we have the four strands of polyguanine we need to provide four guanine residues in the same plane to make uh, uh, four pairs of hydrogen bonding okay so that is the basic concept so whatever type we are using where if we are using the same uh, strand of polyguanine residue that's fine but we still have to produce uh, uh, provide four guanine residues at the same plane what we are pro providing here we can providing here by using two uh, two different 
strands so this kind of thing can can go on so these are the structures uh, we can see uh, uh, as we can see in this picture so uh, uh, from the top view you can see something like that so four guanine residues are being provided from each of the strands to make a structure so it may not necessary that we have to have a four different strands for independent strand we can have one strand and then that strand will arrange in such a way that will provide the four guanine but the basic is to provide we have to provide the four guanine structure now uh, the role of this four stranded dna structure again i have told you that uh, we can find in 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 uh, the telomeres which is really really important but we can also find this quadruplex structures in regulatory regions of the dna so we can see most of the structures we have talked about the three uh, the, the triplex structure of the dna and the quadruplex structure of the dna most of the structure are being found in the regulatory regions of the genes because most of the part these are the sequences these are the special types of dna structures or arrangements that uh, indicate something that indicate special types of proteins that come here and bind with me because these are the designation points these are the starting points so they tag themselves by by transferring the structure of uh, their dna in, in different stretches of dna so the long genome inside the genome few part is made the triplex structure that they tag themselves using this triplex structure they invite some proteins to sit on them and go on uh, doing something and sometimes they form the cruciform structure that and they provide and they finally invite polymerase and all this uh, binding proteins all the cruciform binding proteins to come and sit and, and and they tell then start replication we need this dna to be replicated so this kind of signal so all the presence of this kind of uh, uh, non canonical structures that you can find in dna is having uh, definitely is having a meaning and the meaning most often is uh, to to interact with proteins or to interact with other types of molecules inside a cell and to tag themselves with some of the some of the regions to tag themselves and to finally uh, mark themselves inside the cell okay so that's what we find mostly in the regulatory regions now again we can also find them inside the immunoglobulin gene regions which are responsible for antibody diversity so it's it so look this quadruplex structures are having enormous versatility by presenting themselves in various places so they are controlling the antibody diversity of controlling the regulatory uh, they uh, control the regulation of the genes and all these things now the sequences associated with the, they can also related to the sequences associated with human diseases so this is not an uh, important part as you can see this uh, human disease controlling regions or the regions which are depending uh, upon the human uh, human diseases we can find this uh, the presence of this kind of quadruplex structures